I'm going to start this presentation by briefly showing you some footage of the funeral of some Irish soldiers killed in 1980 in the Lebanon. You'll see why I'm going to show you that as I go on. I'm going to show a few moments of it. This is from AP Archive, which is a archives of news stories and things. Now, I apologise for the sound quality of it. Obviously, I can't be responsible for it, but it's it's pretty ropey. But it makes uh, the point. I'm reason I'm showing it is forty four years ago or so, two Irish soldiers were killed and another wounded by the South Lebanese Army. And the reason I'm showing it is the South Lebanese Army was effectively a de facto arm of Israel and was funded by them and increasingly used to carry out uh, dubious raids and missions for them. Now, for those who aren't familiar with the South Lebanese army, I'll put a link on the bottom of my video. But as we, in the last few days, have been seeing peacekeepers attack, unfortunately, two soldiers, Indonesian soldiers who have been wounded, another two, and yet today, as I type this a couple of hours ago, and not, as I say this, sorry, uh, another soldier wounded. I'm brought, it occurred to me that it's not the first time Israel has engaged in this kind of business of trying to muck around with uniform missions. And whatever it's doing at the minute, it seems to be an attempt to push uniform out of the area, shut them down. I notice it's been attacking cameras and shooting them out. Why are you doing that, Israel? What is it that you do not want uniform to see or monitor if you shoot out cameras or you badger the uniform troops out of the area? Before I finish this presentation, I'm going to say I salute the soldiers in uniform. My father is ex-forces himself and served in the Irish Defence Forces, so I salute the men who are serving there. And I would say don't, I salute their courage in not being pushed out of the area and holding strong.